For those whose lives and livelihoods depend on battery power, a battery monitor is extremely important. I'm here today to talk to you about Datacell, the world's most accurate battery monitor. Have you ever fallen foul to inaccurate battery monitoring, where monitors will show you things like, my battery is fully charged when actually it's flat or vice versa? This is because standard battery monitors rely on counting ampere hours in and out of a battery, and it's notoriously inaccurate. Datacell changes this by introducing new technology to make sure we always display precisely how much power is in your battery. Datacell is manufactured by Merlin Power. Merlin Power have over 30 years of experience in the marine, specialist vehicle and defence markets, manufacturing battery monitoring and power management systems. The main benefit of Datacell is it will never run out of synchronisation with your batteries. It will always display perfectly accurate data. The product has been proven by DSTL, Defence Scientific Technologies Laboratories here in the UK, TARDEC, the Tank Automotive Research and Development Agency Council over in the US for the US Army, and also Enesis, the world's largest industrial battery manufacturer. So the Datacell family consists of two products, Datacell 1 and Datacell 2. Datacell 1 and Datacell 2 will provide information for up to four separate battery banks. So it's a lot lower cost than using multiple battery banks in a larger installation. Information can be provided by optional remote panels. We have them in either LCD or LED. Generally, people prefer the LCD because it provides an alphanumeric display. However, we found that certain applications lend themselves better to have an LED display like this one, especially where there's large temperature variations or if you need to be able to read it in a very low light condition. We can provide you with RS-232 or optional CAN bus output. And also it has LED alarm outputs to create visual or audio alarms or to automatically control other equipment for like starting generators and things like that. We also supply data cell with setup and data logging software. As you can see here, we've got three channels that we're, we're monitoring at the moment. And we're actually monitoring a 24 volt battery bank at the top, and then we've got two 12 volt battery banks. So we can mix voltages on the system with no problem. The graph will then display uh, what's happening. Um, so you can track it back and you can see trends, and you can also data log to a .csv type file. So you can build up a really good picture of what's happening with an electrical system. Datacell 1 provides battery voltage and state of charge for up to four battery banks, but it is only voltage and state of charge, so it's a bit like having a fuel gauge for your four separate batteries. That's actually quite useful for people who don't have a huge understanding of how batteries work or battery monitoring. Really, all they need to know is a, is a fuel gauge type display um, of how much power they've got left in the batteries at any one time. Datacell 2 provides a lot more information, including battery voltage, amps, that's net current in or out of the batteries, we display ampere hours used, state of charge, and time remaining at the current rate of consumption until the batteries are flat. Temperature and also state of health. Now state of health and state of charge are two completely separate things. State of charge will tell you how much power is left in the battery, and state of health will indicate when it's time to change those batteries so it can be used for predictive maintenance. Data cell 2 is also suitable for use with lithium ion battery banks, and it's supplied with really good high quality 500 amp shunts. The problem with conventional ampere hour battery counting monitors is that a battery or the power within a battery is measured in ampere hours, but it changes and it changes according to things like temperature, the speed at which you charge or discharge a battery, state of health and some other parameters too. So it's constantly trying to chase a moving target, especially if the battery was charged up when it was hot and it's being discharged again when it's cold. You think about a boat with batteries in an engine room, that's exactly what happens. And also if there's um, partial charge and discharge cycles. So what happens is that you start getting what we call synchronization error and then it starts to compound over time. And you can see this on the graph, which we're just showing now. The way that Datacell works is that we have computer modelled a whole wide range of different batteries using a very specialised test rig that we have. And basically we have built up a computer model of how a battery charges, or how it discharges and how it ages over time. And then what we do is that we measure various different parameters around the battery and we compare it to the model. And our accuracy is amazing. So our state of charge accuracy at any one time is better than 1%. 
and our state of health accuracy is better than 0.01%. And that is at all charge states and that's at all battery conditions. So for a critical user, if you need to make a decision about when to start the engine, uh, when to stop the engine, start the generator, um, or even just answer simple questions like, and the battery's fully charged, can I turn the generator off now? Can I turn the engine off? Uh, it will allow you to do that. So current users of data cell include UK ambulance and police services, many covert vehicles, specialist command units, um, lots of yachts. Uh, perhaps the most famous user for our product uh, is the US Army, and data cell is fitted as standard to the US Abrams main battle tank Bradley and Amp V. Data Cell is designed for those whose lives or livelihoods depend on battery power. It allows you to make important decisions that are critical to your mission. Data Cell is ideal for long distance sailors, for emergency services vehicles, for command units, for military users, and for off grid solar users. For more information, please click on the link below. Thanks for your time.